Cyberpunk 2077 is an action role-playing video game developed by CD Projekt Red and published by CD Projekt. The story takes place in Night City, an open world set in the Cyberpunk universe. Players assume a first-person perspective of a customizable mercenary known as V, who can acquire skills in hacking and machinery with options for melee and ranged combat. The story follows V's struggles as he or she deals with mysterious cybernetic implant that threatens to overwrite his or her body with the personality and memories of a deceased celebrity only perceived by V. The two must work together if there's any hope to separate the two and save V's life. The game is developed using the Red Engine 4 by a team of around 500 people, exceeding the number that had worked on the studio's previous game, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, released in 2015. CD Projekt launched a new division in Rocklaw, Poland, and partnered with Digital Scapes, NVIDIA, QLock, and Gel Research to aid the production. Cyberpunk creator Mike Pondsmith was a consultant, and actor Keanu Reeves has a starring role. The original score was led by Marcin Prizabalovic, featuring the contributions of several licensed artists. After years of anticipation, CG Product released Cyberpunk 2077 for PlayStation 4, Stadia, Windows and Xbox One on December 10, 2020, followed by PlayStation 5 on an Xbox Series XS on 15th of February 2022. It received praise from critics for its narrative, setting and graphics, although some of its gameplay elements received mixed responses, while its themes and representation of transgender characters received some criticism. It was widely criticized for its bugs, particularly in the console versions, which suffered from performance problems. Sony removed it from the PlayStation Store from December 2020 to June 2021, while CG Project rectified some of the problems. CG Project became a subject to investigations in the class action lawsuits for their perceived attempts at downplaying the severity of the technical problems before release. These were ultimately cleared with a settlement of $1.85 million. By April 2022, the game had sold more than 18 million copies. Now, as discussed, there was many technical issues with Cyberpunk 2077. The release of Cyberpunk was seen as a high-profile event and was considered a disastrous launch as a result of the game suffering from numerous bugs and performance issues, particularly on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One's versions. The Guardian newspaper called the release a shambles, while the New York Times said it was among the most conspicuous disasters in the industry's history. For CG Project Red, prominently failing to meet expectations of what was anticipated to be the biggest game release of the year. Other gaming industry commentators have described the post-launch reception of Cyberpunk 2077 as a fall from grace for CG Project Red, who previously enjoyed fiercely pro-consumer reputation, particularly after The Witcher The Wild Hunt. After the game's release, CG Project Red's stock fell by 9.4% after the publication of the reviews. Many said CD Projekt Red were deliberately attempting to misrepresent the game and not delivering on what they had promised. A major reason for the poor performance of Cyberpunk 2077 was the release underestimating the effort that would be needed to create a game on this scale. Since then, CG Projekt have continuously done updates to increase the performance capacity of the game and make sure the game ran much more smoothly and got rid of the bugs one by one per se. Cyberpunk 2077 is an action role-playing game, playing in the first-person perspective as V, a mercenary whose voice, face, hairstyles, body and type and modifications and background and clothing are customizable. V's body, intelligent, reflexes, technical and cool are influenced by the characters' classes that the player assume, which are net running, which is hacking, techie, machinery, solo, combat. V must also consult a ripper doc to upgrade and purchase cyberware implants, and black markets often offer military-grade abilities. The game is set in Night City, which is an American megacity in the free state of Northern California, controlled by corporations and unassailed by the lords of both country and state. It sees conflict from rampant gang wars and ruling entities contending for dominance. The city is reliant on robotics for everyday aspects like waste collection, maintenance, public transportation. Its visual identity is derived from four areas it underwent, austere entropism, colorful kitsch, imposing neo-militarism and opulent neo-kitsch. Homelessness abounds but does not preclude cybernetic modification for the poor, giving rise to cosmetic addiction and consequent violence. These threats are dealt with by armed forces known as the Psycho Squad. Trauma team can be employed for rapid medical services. Because of the constant threat of physical harm, all citizens are allowed to openly carry firearms in public. Now going into this game I was in two minds. On one hand I was so excited to finally get a chance to play Cyberpunk 2077. I mean I'd seen the trailer years ago and the anticipation to play this groundbreaking game, particularly after playing The Witcher 3 by the same company CG Projekt Red, well I was just expecting the most fantastic game ever made frankly. I was immediately blown away by the way you can customize V, you can manipulate him in either to being a man or female, which of course changes the whole way the story plays out. And there's so many eventualities within the whole story, which just makes it such a fantastic and interesting game. Now, I do not like first player games, and this 
put me off straight away when I started the game. I find it confusing and disorientating being in a first player. I much prefer games from a third player perspective. In saying that though, the story was interesting enough to take me into this wonderful universe that had been created. So you sort of live with it as it were. The game was also purely made for adults. It wasn't trying to be a child-friendly version. I mean, from the moment you start designing V, you can even decide how big his penis is, for example. The universe that was created is fantastic, and I love the dystopian future of it, and there's many aspects to it that I found really fascinating. It's here, though, that the bugs sort of started to kick in. For me, I'd luckily I played the game after some upgrades, so I generally wasn't affected too badly, but there were times, for example, where I'd just start falling inexplicably, or I would be hanging from a ceiling, or the AI would just start doing its own thing, frankly, without any prompts or recognition. It's generally at that point that I would turn the game off, restart it, and resume where I was. Look, the graphics weren't fantastic. Some of the NPCs really weren't well defined and you couldn't really tell what they were supposed to be. And maybe some of the backgrounds could have been better. But fundamentally, it's a good story. And V is a fascinating character. Now, I played V from as a male perspective. So, of course, you'd go on a whole different journey with him if you had been playing him as the female. Of course, that would have been a whole different story. I love how every choice you make will influence how the story plays out. It's exactly like Witcher, and that is one aspect of CG Project Red games that I absolutely adore. It just really brings a real-world element to your playing style. This could have been a game that could have been one of the greatest of all time. I felt that they rushed it, and it was probably released too soon, and therefore never really capitalized on what it could have been. The story is good, there is many fantastic aspects to it, and I really loved having Keanu Reeves for example on my screen, he just adds such a fantastic nuance to this character and another element to the game. Now I really enjoyed the characters here in particular of Pan Am and Judy Alvarez, it's wonderful as you develop a rapport with them and begin to invest in them as parts of the whole story. Now don't get me wrong, I could live with a few gremlins, if anything it makes me realise that it is just a game, but at the same breath though, some of them got, got a bit annoying, and you can see that the graphics weren't exactly where they probably needed to be. That's exactly how I would sum it up, this game wasn't polished, it wasn't finished off, unlike Witcher, which was of course such a perfect game. Therefore, Cyberpunk for me, albeit as enjoyable and engrossing and a good story, just will always be one of those games where you think, gee, if they just waited a little bit longer to perfect this, it could have been so much better. Cyberpunk 2077 gets an 8.5 out of 10.